Peter Hurley joining us. Peter, uh, Jared has been talking. By the way, I'm John. Nice to meet you. Uh, he's been talking nonstop about you. I've heard everything, you oh, know. We plugged in. Is he plugged guy. in? Uh, do we guy. have him plugged in? Can you guys I, hear Peter? He's got more hair than me now. Did you cut yours off? Yeah, or? I did. He had to shave his head. He, he made did. a bet. I bet you if I teased it out like that, I would have had him beat, too. I was past the shoulder. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah, but your hair went poof. I mean, your daughters have the hair. They do have the hair. They have That's great true. hair. They do. They, they have major hair. Phew. Yeah, I saw you... I saw a shot of you without the, without picking it out, and it looked it's kind of like their hair. Yeah, yeah, nice it's ringlet, nice, nice and curly. Look for you when you when you're styled up, you do that. On you know, when I've do. seen I've seen pictures of you when your hair was like wet, and it's just kind of long and it's you know like Jesus. We'll just sexy. put it out there. <laughs> sexy, Peter. You take pictures of people, human beings. Yeah. Have you In taken a picture of habitat? Yet? Have I not shot you? No, I still have to get into your studio and do a video of you shooting me. That's right. We have to do that. I have not done that. He shot me. Yeah. I didn't shoot you. There no, was no, just Instagram. No, that's too. You know, if we uh, were, if, I'd need to mentally prepare for that. If we were at like a military kind of exhibition and you were talking about shooting each other, it'd have a whole different meaning. Yeah, exactly. But uh, you know, well, I've, the real plan. I'm glad Jared, you know, asked me to come on here. But the real, my real plan. I had a master plan at the beginning of this was that I was going to grow my hair out. And I was going to force him. I was going to tell him I would shoot him, and I would give him a major headshot if we went to a salon in the in in the city and both straightened our hair and came oh. to this event together with straight uh, long hair. Look, I'll go with the I'll go with the emo <laughs> look. Give me some purple streaks, and I'll and I'll put part of it over my face, and I'll be like so emo because I'm so emotional right is now. Is it even possible for you to straighten your hair? I'm sure it is. How many hours do you think it would take a professional I, to straighten that? Let's call Al hour. Sharpton that's and ask an hour, Al Sharpton. Hour and a half yeah. operation. That is, is it really? It's an hour. It takes that it's long. Definitely an hour. Yeah. My daughters, they do it, and it takes an hour. I watched that Hair Nation video yeah. movie and watched how they do that too. It's crazy. Yeah. What do they use? Like an iron or that, something? That, that has got to be. They use chemicals. Look. Oh. Look. If we did a photo shoot with it curly, and then I ha I have the girl that straightens my daughter's hair, my hair girl. We do your hair. Well, I'll do a headshot with you. Right now, we're talking about this. Make sure he does this. I'm going to shoot him with the fro as large and as live and, and in all its glory. And then I want to straighten it, and I want to shoot him like that. If, that? If I'd like can, to see that, Jared. If she can guarantee <laughs> that it's not going to ruin anything, I would consider it. What do you mean it's not going to ruin anything? I don't How know anything about hair. Hang on, hang on. Do it on it. The How minute you it? take a shower, it goes back. Oh, as that, soon okay. as I take a yeah. shower. Are you going to yeah. film that, too? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. I, I, I would do that. I would do that. You have a you have a hair lady? I do. Well, let's do it. Would you shoot I'm me? I'm doing it. I'm, we're doing that. Come Would on. you shoot me I'll if I go it. and get my hair straightened? <laughs> Your hair's pretty straight. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty straight. Huh? Straight up, straight out. Yeah. So, tell us about uh, the challenges of shooting people because people are like animals. Oh my god! I gosh. mean, they're so, not easy to shoot. Well, no. Well, I mean, it's it is a challenge, I guess. They're not. They're not. I find it easy to shoot them. Really, I have a hard I time point, shooting people. Yeah, I am okay. good with landscapes, yeah. buildings, yeah. inanimate objects where I don't have to interact with them. That's true. I people think there, are hard. I think that's there's a lot of that out there. That's what um, you know. When I started shooting, I realized that the interaction with the subject was the key. And I think a lot of landscape shooters or still life shooters or people that just shoot. Ha things happening in front of them have a tendency to have a not a maybe a fear maybe just of, of really talking to people or, or knowing how to direct them properly because if you say something wrong you're you're always worried about what they're going to think yeah you guys you know you have to kind of stop worrying about what they think and, and you have to just go out there and put yourself out there and try it. But how do you get over that? I mean, some people are just really inside. They're kind of shy, and they mm -hmm. and they do worry about what people think about them. They don't want to disappoint people. And yeah, you know. Well, I think if you're a pro and you're making a living out, I didn't have a choice. I didn't yeah. want to be a bartender anymore. I was like, I picked up the camera. I want to make this thing work. I'm shooting people. That's what I'm doing. But you also so. were in front of the camera. And did did you learn anything from that? Did anybody direct you well enough that you took? some of the methods that they used when you were posing, being a model? Not that I remember. So nobody was like, uh, you know, put the neck no, out and nothing lower like your clavicle no, and jump nothing, around three times? Nothing like what I do that she I can bang, remember. No, shebang, S-H-A. Shebang, people. That's how you spell shebang. it? Yeah. 
we, were, we had a but, discussion about that. Yeah, that's all right. No, I, it, because it was shebang first, and then everybody said, no, you should have it shebang. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Smiley right. face. So I went with the shebang. I get, had the hashtag, if you will, shebang. Where, where are you going? There, I'm, I'm turning around. It says shebang. Oh, it says hashtag or, ha shebang oh. right across the back. Shebang. Nobody can see that, I'm sure. But now you guys they, see that? Well, it's because it's you... It's a little you, dark. I'm going black on black. You, you yeah, put I'm black going on black. stealth. I'm stealth. <laughs> Peter, I didn't ask him for his um, tips on T-shirts. No, you didn't. The chat room wants to know what camera did you bring, but I don't see a camera that here. Oh, no. So I did didn't you bring, bring one? No, or are you I don't walk around in public with a camera. I have an iPhone. Okay, well, what are, what are you shooting with? I shoot a H3D22 at the moment. I don't even know what that is. A Hasselblad H3D22. Okay, thank you very much. That's my go-to camera, 120 millimeter macro lens, barely comes off the thing. And Until on the occasion, I'll in. flip it vertically, but it's very rare. You're going to get that H5, aren't you? Yeah, I just had that bad boy in my hands. The like H5D it? will be in my possession in, uh, well, they're saying it's shipped ship in January 1st, but I'm hoping it's... Uh, before that? Before that. I'm, I'm, supposed I'm going to come in and get my picture taken with that. I'm supposed okay. to tell you Kill Kenny Cats is on the Ryan. chat room. I don't. Okay. Wonderful. Ryan. I know Ryan. Who's Ryan? I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm just supposed to tell you that. All I don't right, know where that came from, Peter. Now we know. Now, now we do know. So you, you brought a uh, pro board? I brought a pro board with me. So this, was my, this is my thing. I started this company called Hurley Pro. And the concept of it was, I've been shooting 10 years in a studio. There's just things that bug me about it. And I, and I have a buddy that makes stuff. So he makes stuff. I had things that bug me. He show, we, we decided, we, he just, we came up with this idea. One th for me to get a piece of plexiglass into my studio, I got to go down the street to the set shop and spend, you know, 130 bucks or something and lug the thing into my studio, four by eight sheet, it barely stories. gets into my, my uh, freight elevator and it's freaking heavy. And then if I try and bend it, it breaks in half and it's got sharp corners and stuff. I was like, this is ridiculous and I can't take it on location. So I developed what I'm calling the Hurley Pro Pro Board, which is right here. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna take it out because it's four yeah, by eight. I don't eight. think you're gonna get that one out here. Take it out. No, don't yeah, take it out. It's four by it's eight. Huge. It's oh, I mean, it, that's what she says, but it's huge. It gonna, where are we going to put it on here? <laughs> okay, well, tell us what it does then. Okay, okay so it rolls, rolls up. In up. I take it on a, uh, on a, I take it on the plane with me all the time. Um, you, and you like I just that, shot. Obviously. Yeah, I check it. Yeah, okay. But I shot, uh, on Monday I was in San Diego shooting for Microsoft, and it's my backdrop. So I don't have to take white seamless with me anymore. I, I have a smaller footprint. How do you how do you stand no. it up? I mean, like this, I put on two C stands. Oh, and two C stands. Yeah. Okay, so you carry another bag like this with two C stands, or well, they fit in I, there with I, it? I can put them right in the middle. Okay, yeah. that's ingenious. Yeah, there we go. And what kind so, of material is it made of? It's an acrylic, some sort of acrylic stuff that's that my designer deals with, and okay. I just say, let me try it, and we and we do prototypes. Right now, we're working on a line of lights, Hurley Pro lights. I'm coming out with some LED lighting. I'm still um, blinded by the light from the last time he turned those on. That's just a song, even a demo. You know, blinded by the light. I got I, a, I got the prototype board in the studio. I mean, the light, and I turned it on, and it bombarded Jared with so ridiculous amounts straight. of light. That's a big piece of Here. acrylic that yeah. rolls up yeah. but when you get there it unrolls flat yeah it doesn't stay all curvy it does get a little curvy a little but for the background i like it curved okay i'm working on trying to figure out how to flatten it out because it isn't a curve but for the portability it's more important to be portable than how anything do you light else. it i light it with with strobes i hit it with strobes but actually you know what i started out the idea was with the having the reflective surface on the floor I didn't know that it was going to shorten my footprint in my headshot work and allow me not to take a nine-foot seamless around with me to jobs. I'm like, this is great. Now I got a wide thing that I can hang up and I shot, um, I shoot like crazy. It, and I curve it on purpose so that I get a kick from the back because I'm bouncing strobe off of it. And I really like to accentuate jaw lines and stuff like that. If you, if you look at some of my work, you can see that action going do you have any? Uh, do you have any of the pictures that you've taken with that on PeterHurley.com? Uh, HurleyProGear.com is the website. Okay. HurleyProGear.com. 
And you can see some of my work that's up there, up there on my regular website. I also have uh, my shirt is a PH2 photographer shirt. I started a site called PH2 Pro because I've been teaching. I did a DVD about headshots with Jared. I wasn't watched. in it. I watched you, it. Yeah, you enjoyed it. I right? downloaded it. Okay, he enjoyed it. I, who who cannot enjoy you, not you enjoy talking? It? You enjoyed it. There was I watched four hours of it. All right, there we go. It's four <laughs> hours in two parts where you just give everything and anything that you could think about in, 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 do, in terms of doing headshots. Well, I want to see it. How do I see it? Tell them you where can, they can pick that bad you boy get, up. You can go to peterhurley.com forward slash DVD and get it. I did it in association with F-Stoppers, and you can get it on their site. Um, I think it's an amazing resource if you ever have a human in front of your camera. A lot of the stuff that I teach, I say, I don't care if they're three feet in front of me or 30 feet in front of me, this stuff applies. So um, it's a great resource. And there I am on the pro board with my long hair. You nice. see this? That's me in action. How long ago was that That taken? was for human scale. Another client of mine that I use the pro board with quite frequently. This was in Chicago. We brought some pro board to Chicago. Shot that at Neocon, their new, uh, I believe that's a Freedom Chair, their new chair that's coming out. And uh, yeah, it was exciting. So I just did a shoot for them on, so I had, I had Microsoft on Monday and I did Human Scale and on Wednesday. Microsoft as in like the big wigs or Microsoft as in the just people? Yeah, what kind of stuff do you do for Microsoft? Like if well, you do I, like I was that. shooting headshots for their executives. Okay. So did yeah. you get to see Bomber? I didn't see him. He wasn't there. This was the elite crew that, that the elite had, crew that, that you never come. Seen. Well, the ones that I shot had come in from all over the world, so they were like, they congregated in San Diego. I flew out, and I had people. I was shooting them as they got there. It was because I was there the day before. Well, they had a th they had a whole week long thing, but they wanted me to get the headshot headshots in so that they could use them for all their meetings and everything. That this was a team that the stuff that they had going on down there was incredible. And uh, it was really interesting. See, I wish I could have stayed, but I, I, I flew back from San Diego, got off the plane, and went straight to a shoot. So it was, it's been a busy week. You're busy. Week. You it's shoot a, a lot. Week. How many headshots are you doing a week? Well, this week, In I a did normal 47 for Microsoft. 47. And then I, did, I did. Winning. And then I had uh, three, four. I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot of headshots. Human scale, I was shooting inanimate objects. How do you process your images? After you shoot them with a Hasselblad, then what the heck do you do with them? I process in Focus software. I use that as my capture software. And I process them out to TIFFs or JPEGs or whatever. And then, and then I rarely open Photoshop. I have a retoucher that does most of my work or a lot of the work for the, for the ad agencies. I, I, I mean, for like HumanScale, for instance, they have a team that works on it, and I work closely with their art directors to make sure the stuff looks good. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. So you've got the Pro Board. You've got the lights. Lights are coming out. The I got, DVD. I'm working on V-Board. What is the V-Board? V-Board is V-flats that are portable. Really? Portable V-flats. Oh, I'm selling t I got T-shirts of me in action. Oh, the T-shirts. Um, What's a V-flat? You want to explain that? You can explain it. Uh, you want me to explain yeah, it? Yeah, you explain, explain the V-flat. All right, flat. so, it, it, so yeah. uh, photographers for years have to block light from hitting their subject in some way. If you blow a strobe off and it blasts all over the room and you want to create a shadow, you got to make sure that you block that light from being bounced back from anything. So foam core has generally been used with a lot of gaffer's tape. So you got foam core, you got your gaffer's tape. All right, you get it out and you got this white on one side, black on another. And you sit there and tape it together. Personally, I'm sick of putting gaffer's tape on foam core. So, and I can't travel with it. Now I got a four by eight sheet of foam core and I tape two together and I can't get it in a car. I can't get it anywhere. So I don't go to shoots with, with V-board. I mean with V-flats because they're not portable. So I'm creating a portable V, v flat. How big will okay. it be? It'll still be the same size, but, but shrink I'll down. be able to. No, it'll You'll be the be same size. You'll be able to roll it up can, and no, take we're just we're, there, we're fold off. It'll be like a fan. It'll be like no, you just stick pieces of it together. It's like a puzzle. Oh, all right, you now jam that it makes together sense. and you build it when you're when you're on set. That so makes it comes sense. in a bag that's like this, and you can carry it. And you can check it on the airplane. Pick it yeah, up on the other yeah, end, yeah, yeah, yeah. shove it in your rental car, yeah. and go anywhere with it. Yeah. As opposed to a four by eight sheet of foam board. Yeah, exactly. Okay. What can you do with that? You've got. Uh, uh, on that. You're ready to expand into Europe. Take your uh, 
your headshots, um, teachings, we're, we're talking workshops. about that. We were talking about London. Yes, London. You were just there. I was just in London. I have the perfect studio for you. All right, we're, that's what I need. So we're going to talk about we that. We are going to talk good. about that. Yeah. Question, how much does the pro board cost? Pro board retails for 148 for one sheet. If you buy two sheets together, you get a deal. It's 248 Boom, ShamWow comes with it. Nice. John no Cornichel. ShamWow. There he is. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Good to see you again. <laughs> you just know everybody, don't you? Okay, we have two minutes. We have two minutes left, and you still... I run, run you know all what? the way over here. I only got two minutes left. What do You've people, been on for 20. What do, do people, you want more? How are people going to follow you in the social media space? Oh, if you want to find me on Twitter, I'm Peter underscore Hurley. On Facebook, I'm Peter Hurley Photo. Um, are you on Google I Plus? I do tweet on Google Plus. It's just, just my Peter name. Hurley. Yeah, I, got, I was fortunate enough to get asked to speak at the Google Plus uh, photography event. And I, I'm loving Google Plus, so I use it quite a bit. I'm, uh, I'm doing a Kelby training coming up. I'm doing a lot of stuff with the Kelby guys, um, which I'm loving right now. So I'm pretty pretty psyched about that. We're How many people with, watch that? Watch what? The first one? Which Didn't one? Didn't you have the first one? Go oh, I, I was just told that I had the biggest blog post of the year over at Kelby. So thanks, guys. I had to, It's all about the draw. So go to my YouTube <laughs> channel, Peter Hurley Photo. And check that Do out. Do you have that shirt? It's all about the draw? No, that's the, where Shebang came from. you got to watch that video to understand Shebang. He doesn't watch my videos. He's got too I'm many I'm too busy own. making my own videos He's to watch every one of yours. to watch other people's videos. It's, it's, Look, we're giving you more time to sit here and talk, all right? We're stretching okay. it out for you. All right. Just because it's you. Yeah, because you got a boost and because people are excited. We're Sorry. We're firing people up. Look I at said, all these people congregating. I said we only had two minutes, but that's not true. Because our next guest is running a little late, so we can go as long as we damn well please. Oh, sit here for go. a while. Fair enough. Good. Who's that? Are they doing right? Well, I thought I was late. I was running. Well, Fernando, what's going on, buddy? All right. Good see, to see you, man. People come and see you. So talk um, about doing corporate gigs, corporate shots. People come and find you. you you've done. I love the story about the uh, the the. Shooting, what is what, can what we TV talk show about, was that? Can we just talk about my experience on shooting human scale? On, That's what we're talking about. Oh, so I get I get the human. Well, I just want to talk about the, the experience in general. Do you know Tether Tools? Yes, we had Tether Tools. We're giving one away today. That's right. They I'm were actually, on I'm earlier. giving one away right now, I think, on oh, Google Plus or something. Okay, so so I just, I'm in Moron, and they I have a bunch of their gear, and I, I won't go anywhere without the jerk stopper, but for some reason on Wednesday, I just didn't take my tether table. I just was like, I'm shooting at a at the Brooklyn Public Library human scale chairs, and I was like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the the tether table because it's a library. There's got to be places for me to put my laptop. Of course not. Of course, I'm running around. I didn't have the tether table. My assistant. I'm like, I was in the street because they wanted me to shoot the outside of the place. So I'm holding the laptop while because I can't. I all right, I got a so major well. problem shooting untethered guys. A major issue. I might have to go to therapy, but I'm not shooting untethered ever again. I can't stand it. Maybe with the H5D, I'll change that. Maybe you will, because you have a nice screen on that. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm holding while I'm trying to shoot, and then and then my buddy Chris Fain uh, is assisting me. So, Chris, were your how are your arms? He's still sore. That was Wednesday. He's still sore. He's got his, he got his workout. So I want you guys to go over to Tether Tools and pick up your Tether table and then go nowhere. don't go anywhere without it. That was just my, I just had that experience, so I was just psyched to we share. We didn't get to see a Tether table We didn't get to see a Tether table. We need, we need to see one, but the lost experience, whatever, we know you from that. Some people know you from that, yeah. but, you know, the, the picture of Hurley hanging in your studio. My studio, yeah. There it is right there on the screen right now. I know oh, you yeah, had a fly is. there. You know, how did this job come about? Um, one of my best clients over the years is, uh, has been the Vilcek Foundation. And they are a foundation on the Upper East Side. They, um, they're based on, um, it's all about what Im how immigrants have con contributed to this country and what they've done. So they do different projects based on, um, based on that. So they came up with the idea that there's a lot of immigrants working on the show. So we did an exhibition, and they sent me to Hawaii, and I got to shoot all these cool people and had a great experience. The only problem that I had going to Hawaii and being treated first class and everything was that I booked the two biggest jobs of my year in the same week. 
I was supposed to stay in Hawaii a couple extra days. I had to fly back to New York to shoot an author, Vince Flynn, on right after, like the next day after I was shooting in Hawaii. So I had this, I, I just, and then I, like, I was like, I don't have anything other major going on the rest of the year. I blew two days in Hawaii, an extra two days. So I missed shooting some of the other celebrities that were immigrants. But I got to shoot Mikhail Barishnikov for them. Nice. Um, and if you go to, he runs the Barishnikov Art Center in there. Um, I believe that he's using my images for his um, headshots and stuff like that now and for some of the promotion that they did for, he won an award for the contribution he's done for dance. So the Vilcek Foundation has been really supportive for me. Go to Vilcek.org and you can check them out. You're a busy man. Busy man. All right, if you, had, uh, if you had to give those of us who are not very experienced at people photography, like two or three of the most critical tips that you could give us. You know, if I want to go take pictures of my family members or something, and I really, I want them to be special. What would be your quick tips? Things that I can do I with, an average, with an average camera. I have a quick tip thing. All right. Anyway, my tips are not technical. Um, if you look at my Twitter handle, underneath I say 90% therapist, 10% photographer. So I am feeding people information. I'm not, uh, uh, oh my gosh, what's the F stop? I, I, don't ever, I don't ever do this while I'm shooting because when you're doing this, while you're shooting, what is that person doing? Wondering what the hell you're doing. This guy doesn't know and what he's doing. And getting nervous. This guy? He doesn't know what he's doing. This guy's, what is it? this guy? This guy's not gonna make me look good. But and then, then you, they look in your camera like this. Yeah. Is that a deer in headlights? That's, is, I call it out to lunchitis, actually. Out to lunchitis. There you go. <laughs> so they have out to lunchitis. So how do you get rid of it? You gotta coach them. You gotta give them little things to do. The first thing, go to, go to It's All About the Jaw and watch this video. If I'm like this, is this attractive? Yeah, not really. really. Not really. What do we have to do, people? Stick your jaw out. Forehead out and down. You know, not chin because they'll go like this. That's just weird. <laughs> they'll do that though. That's weird. So you got to go forehead out and down. So I did a, a thing on Kelby training about expressions I call making faces. So I talk about what the face can do and what can. So you need to really get them physically in the position that's going to make them look good and then they'll be like oh this guy knows what he's talking about or this girl knows what she's talking about i'm going to listen to them so you have to give them direction so they feel like you know what you're doing and you can't be doing it like know this inside and out before you get a human being in front of your camera please and if they are in front of your camera make sure they're not paying you if you're going like this the whole time yeah once you start charging you're a professional act professional don't be technical this stuff you should know left, right, and center. <laughs> and halfway to the left of center, whichever way you want to go. That's right. How's this smell? That's mine. That's, That's my D600. It smells <laughs> he thinks good. it smells delicious. It does. It smells like a pro board. I haven't sniffed your pro board yet. Are you going to do it now, or are we going to do it another time? I think you should do it now. No, I have to, I have to make a video about your you pro board. Oh. Yeah, but we can do a little it. sniff. You're right. i got to let you sniff it. But you can it. do no. a little sniff test no, right here. Can't do it. No, 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 no. no. I want to do, do it. it. No, the official gotta, way. Let's do okay. it officially. I have okay. to clean the nose palette. It just has to happen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That Fair didn't enough. sound too good. Clean the nose palette. That can be taken the wrong way. I, I mean, we could get some Kleenex in here or something if that's what it takes. I if, don't know. if it takes. I don't know. So what, what? What have you seen at the show? Have you seen anything yet? No. I had. Uh, I ran in and I went down to the keynote. Saw David LaChapelle speak, which I thought was awesome. He's really inspiring and an interesting guy. I didn't. I had to run out of there, but I. I uh, and then I ran in and saw this thing on editorial photography which was really nice three guys talking about that for a couple hours and then I ran up here and now I'm gonna run back to the studio and I'm gonna come in tomorrow why are you I'm going gonna, to your studio tonight I'm not saying that <laughs> well, they already posted it on the website where <laughs> where no we don't need to talk what F stoppers posted all it. all right that's enough <laughs> um, we already have an issue there but um, we don't need to like extrapolate. So nothing's anyway, happening tomorrow, tonight. you know what I'm doing? Tomorrow at noon, I'm going to meet people between Canon and Nikon, do a little walk around with people that want to do... Just, just impromptu? Yeah, anybody who wants to hang out with me and Where walk are we around gonna do look that? at gear. You said, I was going to meet them in the front, right between Canon and Nikon. You said tomorrow Nikon. night? Tomorrow at noon. At tomorrow noon. at noon? Yeah. Go do a little photo walk. I, no, well, impromptu. I just want to walk around the show, and okay. I have a lot of people that... Look, if you're out there and you're shooting headshots, 
I, I, I'm telling you, there's so many things that you can do that, that are amazing. And I, I, the people that follow me, I have, I'm thankful for all my fans and that, that have really said that this headshot thing, I've kind of embraced it and it's been great. And I just, you know what, I just, I know I don't have as many fans as this guy, but I'm working on it. And I just passed 10,000 fans on Facebook today. So that's thanks, amazing. Guys. Yeah. Congratulations. That's cool. Just today. It is, that's awesome. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, it's that's amazing. awesome. I think Leora's in love with you. <laughs> I don't know. That's Leora over there. She's cool. Look at the tattoos. She's, yeah, she's got all the tattoos. Yeah. She does. Yeah. So, Peter, and what else? Are we we're, going? We're, we're well, good. We've got I just a couple more I have to give a shout out to a new dad. And, and, uh, and John David Pittman's over here. Guys, JDP is the man. He came all the way up from Little Rock. He's my PH2 associate photographer in Little Rock. And it's his birthday tomorrow. And his, and his daughter's five weeks old, and she let him come to New York to hang out with me and see the show and with our other buddies, John Tokarowski and Chris Fain over there, two other PH2 associate photographers. Go check out ph2pro.com. I am creating associate photographers worldwide to take headshot photography to a different level. We do referrals and we get people work, so go over there and check it out. Are <laughs> you running for office? When can they vote? I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> and then don't jam forget as much information in here vote, as possible. Vote you, Peter Hurley. You forgot to say that this message was I approve. Oh, I approve message. this message. My phone's like vibrating like crazy in my pocket. I must have done something right. Did you? Uh, did we tell people about your Twitter ID and stuff? You maybe Peter are you getting your Hurley. are you getting your notifications of subscribers? Possibly. Oh, no, I don't get that. Yo, Yo, you don't have that turned crazy. on. He's too busy that. for yeah, that. It goes nuts. He gets too many people. It goes nuts. All right, Peter. I think we're. Are we ready to wrap it up there? Yeah, I'm, I think there was one more comment. I was trying to. There give was another Peter. question. Uh, it's scrolling too fast. Scrolling, I'm having see, a little. You blew up the room. You blew up yeah, the chat see? room. Oh, Peter. oh, oh! No, I got it. Lay, hit a, lay him on me. I'm ready. England what do you says, got? Peter, you should YouTube. You should YouTube. You should YouTube. make some video YouTubes. I know. YouTube I've been videos. I, 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 you have a long way to catch up to me. You know I know. Do? I'm not, I don't have time. For no, that. I mean, do I have do time. do it. Look, you know what you can do? I don't plan on ever catching up to you. Listen, you have a very in that department. You have a very unique. <laughs> uh, thing that you do and what you could do is when you go do some of these photo shoots just get one of these little Vixias like we're using yeah, here. Yeah, but you got to understand I do go. that. I have a coaching platform called PH2 Pro. It's 20 bucks a month and I do I'm well, I have to do more, but I do videos every monthly in there and I throw them in and I that's where all my tidbits of information go cuz it's privy information for those people. Okay. I just did a video for Kelby Training. You can go in there. And if you're not in Kelby Training, you should go check it out. I mean, for 20 bucks a month, how can you go wrong? You know how much information's in this thing? And then uh, I also have the Art Behind the Headshot DVD. Um, so, yes, I do do, I do, will throw out free information out there for people to see on my YouTube channel. So all the stuff on Peter Hurley uh, photo on YouTube is, is there. And I will be continuing to build that. Not at the rate of this guy. Yeah, it happens. Fair enough. Thank and you I for usually just on. used to do a flip cam pointed at my face. Everybody wants to see <laughs> and your then face. Just throw it up there real quick. But now I got a knife. I don't know. It's like, you know, I'm trying. Peter? As always, it's fun. If you want to hear more about Peter, we've done, we did a podcast, froknowsphoto.com slash podcast. You can listen to it from Peter's studio. A nice long hour discussion that we had. You can check it out. Thanks for coming on, yeah, Peter. Thanks for having it was me. Fantastic. I really appreciate it. No, on. I was psyched. Thanks for uh, fitting you were wonderful, wonderful Thanks for stuff. putting me in, firing me up, getting me in here. I love Photo Plus. You know, I like coming every year and checking out the new gear. So let's, I got to go out there tomorrow and check it all out. We'll see you later. Yeah, you're coming. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> All right, dude. Thank you, Peter. All right, we thanks, will, guys. We will see.